Okay, I want to show you another thing here, um, a problem that I have with the Roman Catholic Church with some of their doctrine. I want to start out here in Genesis chapter 3 in the King James Bible, of course. And we're going to look at verse 5. Here's the account of Satan tempting Eve in the Garden of Eden, and it says, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Now the foundation for every false religion out there is this right here. Satan has used the same thing to deceive people for 6,000 years. Ye shall be as gods. He promises them godhood. Okay, now let me turn over to why would Satan promise them that? Well, that's probably because that's what uh, he tried to get and he blew it. And it didn't work out. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. He wanted to be God. Okay, that's why he lost his position as the anointed cherub. Satan was a cherub before he got kicked out of heaven. Now here we are in Ezekiel 28. And we will come down here. Let's see, where's the verse that I want? Uh, verse 9. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? But thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Okay, Satan was trying to say that he was God, capital G. I will be like the Most High. Now a lot of the new versions actually will say a lowercase g God. Satan didn't try to be a lowercase g God because he is one of those. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 says that he is the God of this world. Okay, lowercase g. Satan is a lowercase g God. This is the right reading here. Capital G. Satan wanted to be God Almighty. Now I want to take a look. I want to show you something here, which I think a lot of Catholics are not aware of, that their catechism teaches this. I'll put my King James Bible right there. Here I have a catechism of the Catholic Church. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can get a good look at the text. Okay, page 116. It says, For the Son of God became man so that we might become God. Capital G. Do you think the Holy Spirit inspired that or Satan? Isn't that what Satan got kicked out of heaven for? The only begotten Son of God wanting to make us sharers in his divinity assumed our nature so that he made man might make men gods. Now don't tell me that the Holy Spirit inspired this thing. You know, they say that the word of the Pope is infallible and whatever. Well, I guarantee you that is not infallible. That's of the devil right there. God does not want to make us gods, or we might become God, capital G. You know, this is bad enough, but that's even worse. And just in case you're skeptical, and well, I don't know if that is a recognized Catholic publication, there you have your seal of approval essentially at the top. By Pope, he's now Pope Benedict the, uh, what is it, 16th, I guess. Cardinal Ratzinger. So, there you have it. But in case you're not convinced, I have this one here. This is a, I think a 2001 edition. This is my newest one that I have. Let me show you in here very quickly. Zoom in here a little bit so you can see it. For the Son of Man became man so that we might become God. The only begotten Son of God wanting to make us shares in his divinity assumed our nature so that he made man might make men gods. Again, says the exact same thing as the older edition of the Catechism there. And again, you have... Cardinal Ratzinger, Joseph Ratzinger, 
showing up here. This is certainly a um, accepted Roman Catholic catechism. Now I want to show you something else. Another problem that I have right there is obviously a satanic problem that the catechism has. That's obviously not of the Lord. The Lord would not say that he wants you to become a god. That's how Satan deceived Eve back in the Garden of Eden. But I want to show you another thing that Jesus Christ warns about Matthew chapter 24. We'll look here. Okay. And as he sat, verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Warning. That's a warning. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Watch out for somebody coming to you and telling you that they are Christ. Okay? What does the Catechism teach on this subject? Well, let's go to page 228, as you can see there. Let us rejoice then and give thanks that we have become not only Christians, but Christ himself. Do you under and understand and grasp, brethren, God's grace toward us? Marvel and rejoice, we have become Christ. Wow. So there you have that. Then you have here on page 732, We can adore the Father because he has caused us to be reborn to his life by adopting us as his children in his only Son by baptism. That's a lie. It's not by baptism. It's by the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed once on Calvary. Uh, he incorporates us into the body of his Christ through the anointing of his Spirit who flows from the head to the members, he makes us other Christs. So then you have become sharers in Christ, are appropriately called Christs. No, you're not. You are a Christian. Okay, if you get saved, if you have been born again, put your faith in Jesus Christ, not of works, lest any man should boast, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Read that. Okay. If you have done that, then you are a Christian. You are not Christ. And you need to watch out for people coming and saying that they are Christ. But it gets worse than that. Here we have the New St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism. And this thing here is just incredible. Zoom in here a little bit. The Holy Mass. The ordained priest takes the place of Christ. Isn't that something? Okay, I thought the Bible says that there's one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. Oh no, you have to go through a ordained priest. Sure you do. Christ, our high priest in heaven, the priest on earth, another Christ. Hmm. What we see, what we should think of. <laughs> okay. Well, explain that to me, by the way, too. I thought that uh, the host, the communion host here, and the, the wafer and the thing. So how can it be in the communion host, and yet it's there, too? See, it's kind of warped. But I wonder what the uh, Catholic children that have been molested by the priests, I wonder if they believe that they were being molested by Christ. And tell me that that's of the Lord. That is the epitome of Satanism. Okay, to teach that a man is Christ. A man is Jesus Christ. Many will come in my name saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Pretty wicked.